guys, NeoSexD here, and I figured since it is actually my one year anniversary, I figured I should just come back and I just want you to know this time we're hopefully going to do bigger and better things. So this is going to be my new way to start off. Well, not really a new way to start off. This is my new, this is my new game to start off the new season, I guess, and we just watch this. So, if you couldn't tell, this game is called 999, or 9 hours, 9 persons, 9 doors. And it is actually a very good game. I just got it recently, and I figured we could play it. So let's just get started. Uh, let's just begin with memories, right? Mm, actually, wait. Is that what we want to do? Yes, we do. Okay, the first thing you'll notice is that I already have three uh, saves, or well, three completions of this game. But... Those are just the different endings. There are six different endings, well five, because one is actually a dummy ending. And we are going to hopefully go get the good ending, and I wanted to record that as the let's play. So, as you could tell, we are just going to jump right in, and yes we will. Did overwritten. Let's get started. This game is fiction, all names and characters, incidents portrayed in the production are fictitious. There's also going to be some narration on the bottom screen, I'm just going to read that. Just so you guys don't miss anything. Four. Three, two, one, Happy New Year! Not really, everyone's dead. Yay. Loud noise started Junpei awake. I snapped open. There we go. Finally. Oh! Here we go. Ah, uh, god damn it. What the hell? You play guard around the room to determine where you've woken up. The main character's name is Junpei, by the way, if you couldn't get that. It was a bed. A three level bunk bed, in fact. Junpei had fallen, apparently, from the topmost bank. Bunk. His shoulder hurt, his knee hurt, his hip hurt, his entire body hurt. He could feel a bump forming on his forehead. He wondered if that bump was the reason he felt the, his vision wavering a bit, but that seemed very unlikely. At first he thought the tremor that ran through his legs was just another effect of his rude awakening, but then he looked around and realized it was real. The whole room was shaking. Uh, he grabbed the growing bump on his head and gingerly climbed to his feet. And muttered to himself, Where am I? His pain momentarily forgotten in the face of confusion of his circumstances, Junpei looked around the room once again. Minutes passed and Junpei struggled to get his bearings. Then slowly as they began, the tremors had ceased. A cold silence fell over the room. From somewhere far away, Junpei could hear the sound of metal squeaking. He felt his stomach tighten. There were a thousand things the sound could have been, but none of them were good. In an attempt to distract himself, Junpei looked around the room once more. There was a stove that looked more antique than functional. A three-level bunk bed with mattresses that were so thin they were little more than blankets. On the other side of the room was an identical bed. And set in the wall between the two beds was a slightly dirty iron door. On the surface of the door, in red paint, someone had written, Dun dun dun! A five! Five? What's this five mean? Suspicious and still utterly confused, Junpei approached the door slowly. He 
Standing at last in front of the door, Junpei grabs hold of the L-shaped handle. Push yielded no movement, and a pull of the same result. A few more tries commented the truth. Junpei's mind. It wouldn't open. Next to the door was an odd-looking device that reminded Junpei of a card reader. Well, what else could it be? It didn't take a genius to figure out that the odd-looking device was keeping the door shut. Again, genius. Junpei knocked hard on the door. Hey! Hello? Is anyone there? Open the door! There was no response. Well, of course, what do you think? Junpei threw his fit left fist into the door. And stopped. What the hell is this? He wasn't really sure what else to say. On his left, left wrist was a bracelet of a sort he'd never seen before. In the center was a large LCD display. It looked like nothing else so much had but a watch, but it clearly wasn't that. After all, it showed only a single number. Five. Wow. Five. Clearly never seen that number before. That's, that's the same as the door. This guy's clearly the smartest person in the world. True, the numbers were the same, but he had no idea what it might mean. All he knew was that it was strange, and new, and he wanted it off. Junpei flipped his hand over as if to remove the bracelet, but... Yeah, that's not coming off anytime soon. He sighed, flipped the thing back over, the thing being his wrist. There was a number of rivets around the rim of the face. Perhaps. He pushed on them, and nothing happened. Junpei was at a loss. What was he going to do? Growing more desperate, he began to tug at it. How do you tug a watch off? Ah! Damn. Oh, it's no good. Damn, this thing won't come off. Language, sir. What the hell is the deal with this thing? Frustration and desperation were beginning to mix as the reality of the situation began to dawn fully on Junpei. So much was happening, and none of it made sense. Junpei felt as though they, he was about to explode. Where am I? And why the hell am I here? Why? 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 And what the hell happened to me? What was that? It was at that notice he no it was at that moment he noticed the window. The window was round, rimmed and riveted. Like a window from the early twentieth century ship. What? Wait, am I in a ship? Hooray, starting to catch on. Junpei slowly walked toward the window. He could see nothing beyond it but thick, impenetrable darkness. Junpei squinted, trying to see something. Anything. It was at that moment. Oh, shit. What the? You gotta be kidding me. Wh what the hell is going on here? A crack. A crack split the, split the glass of the window. For a moment, Junpei stared at it. Then the window burst, and the water began to pour into the room. What the hell? God damn it! Junpei yelled and spun around. His feet slipping on the water already coming through the window. He ran for the door. Didn't work last time. Hey! Anyone? Is anyone there? Come on, if you're there, say something. There was no reply. As Junpei screamed and pounded on the door, the water began to rise. It was now ankle deep on the floor, and it was rising quickly. Things were not looking good for Junpei. Not good at all. He needed to find a way out, and quickly. However, we are going to do that next time. I hope you enjoyed this episode, and all my future ones. NeosXD, signing off. Bye, guys.